What's up guys, how's it going? Today, I am going to be installing a 2.5 inch solid state drive into my Lenovo IdeaPad 3. And so, if you've tried this or have been interested, you'll know that you actually have to go out and buy a separate adapter as it is proprietary to SATA. So I got this on eBay for about $12. I'll put it in the link in the description. So you'll see that we have 3M tape on here. And so this just connects it to the motherboard. So I got a 240 gigabyte SSD. It's mostly just for storing video footage. So it does have a 545 megabytes per second read and write. So let's open this up and install it. So the first thing we're gonna need to do to open our IdeaPad 3 is remove the 10 screws here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Just a note for when you're putting them back in, the front four screws are longer than all of the other ones. So you might just wanna put those in a separate pile. All right, and then when all the screws are out, there's just some clips that hold this in. So, can you use a pry tool to open this up? So, if you're not using a pry tool, you probably should. You can get your fingers under here in the back. Unfortunately, I lost my pry tool a bit ago. And just before all of this, you should make sure that your laptop is power down and next we're going to unplug the battery and there we go so the ssd is going to be installed right here and the connection is made right there so what i'm going to do first is take out this tray and i actually got a separate ssd mount just in case so i'm going to use the screws from here to put it where it's supposed to go. And if you don't have screws, it probably will be fine because there's not much room for it to move about. So I'm going to remove the screws there and there. And then also the one right here. So looks like we are going to have to take out the battery, unfortunately. So that's actually going to be screws right there, there, there. We can then lift up the battery, because they're just like so. See the trackpad there. So, and then we have the screw there and there to remove this tray. I also upgraded this laptop to 20 gigabytes of RAM, so make sure you go watch that video. All right. After this is removed, there's a small bit of tape there for some reason. I don't think it's necessary though. We have this and we are going to place the SSD in just like so. And then let's see how this will be. So it's going to plug in right there and be just like this flat like so. So we are going to put in four screws and I'm going to put them on the side since those two are under there. It really doesn't matter depending on if your SSD has screws in both of those places. So once it's been screwed into here, I'm just going to do a test fit. So I'm going to plug it in like this. So this part does the data, this part does the power. Once it's plugged in like that, I'm just going to set it down in here, make sure that everything lines up properly, and it does. So now what I'm going to do is screw the SSD back in. Alright, so now I'm going to plug this in just as a test fit. There is a small latch here that you are going to need to pull up on. And before I do that, 
I'm going to remove this adhesive tape here. Got three pieces. All right, and now I'm going to plug this into the SSD here, making sure I don't have the tape in yet until it's in its final position. All right, we have it plugged in. Just gonna put our latch down like so. You'll see that this just sits right in there. Let's put the battery back in now. Make sure it's all lined up. All right, now we're gonna plug the battery back in carefully here. All right, and that concludes the installation. Let's put the back on now. Now I'm not gonna put the screws in yet, just so I can make sure that it boots and that the SSD shows up. All right, so we're in Windows here. Now to see if it's actually in here, we can't go right to File Explorer. We actually have to go to Partition Manager. As this hasn't been used in any other systems yet. All right, so it says I must initialize a disk before Manager can access it. So we are going to use GPT. Okay, and you'll see here we have an SSD. Gonna right click or double click on here. Gonna click new simple volume. Click next. Next, so it defaults to the size of the SSD. Next, next, and finish. All right, so it is formatting. Then when it's done, you can go to File Explorer, go to this PC, and you'll see that it shows up right in here. So thank you guys for watching this video, installing an SSD in your Lenovo IdeaPad 3. We'll see you in the very next video. Bye.